Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we will show you how to create a live online class with LearnDash using Zoom. LearnDash is a popular WordPress LMS plugin as you know and you can get it from the link in this video's description. Also, we have video tutorials on how to create an e-learning site with LearnDash and how to create a LearnDash course. We've provided those videos links in the description as well. With that being said, let's get started. So this is our e-learning website which we created with LearnDash. You can see we have courses. So for example, if we go into one of these courses and if we want to add an online live session or a webinar within one of our topics or lessons, we can do that using Zoom. Okay. So to do that, we are going to go back to our dashboard. So first we are going to install a plugin. So hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. And now we're going to search for a plugin called Video Conferencing with Zoom. Okay, so this is our plugin. You can see it has over 20,000 active installation and it is compatible with our current version of WordPress. So we're going to click on this Install Now button. And after it's been installed, we're going to click on the Activate button. So after your plugin's been activated, you will see this new option over here. If you don't see this, you can simply refresh your page. So you will see this, okay? So if we click over here, you can see we have no events right now. If we click on settings, you can see we need some credentials over here. So now we are going to sign in to our Zoom account. If you don't have a Zoom account, you can create one for free. We've added the link in the description and we've already logged into our Zoom account. So after you log into your Zoom account, simply scroll down and from the admin, click on advanced and visit the app marketplace okay now from here we are going to uh, hover our mouse over develop and click on build app and you can see there are a lot of apps over here and we are going to select the server to server OAuth okay we are going to click on the create button over here and we are going to name our app let's say we are going to call our app learn dash live class let's create it and now it has taken us to the app setup page. So here you can set up your app. You can upload a logo for your um, application and we have to go through a few steps. Okay. So first the app credentials here, you have your account ID, your client ID and client secret. We are going to copy these credentials and paste this on our video conferencing with zoom plugin on our WordPress website. Okay. So we're going to click on the continue button for now. And here you can uh, type in some information about your app. So let's say our app name is Learn Dash Live Class. You can rename it if you want. You can enter a short description. So let me give a short description. Okay, so we have given our app name, short description, company name, name and email address. After that, we are going to click on the continue button. And here in the features section, you are going to see the secret token and verification token. So right now we do not need this. We are going to click on the continue button. And here you can add scopes. So scopes define the API methods this app is allowed to call and thus which information and capabilities are available on Zoom. So basically by adding scopes, you can add more capabilities to your Zoom app. So we are going to click on add scopes. You can add any scopes that you require, but if you don't know which ones to add, you can simply add all the scopes within meeting, webinar, recording and user. Okay. So we're going to select all the scopes within meeting. All right. Next, let's go to webinar and add these scopes and in recording. And finally, all the scopes in user. Next, we're going to click on done and we're going to click on continue and now your app is ready you can click on this activate your app button to activate your app congratulations your app is now activated so let's go back to the app credentials page now we are going to copy this information and paste it over our video conferencing with zoom plugin in our wordpress site okay so let's copy it Okay, so we have copied all our information and for the client ID and client secret, we can use the same information from here. So for client ID, we are going to copy this code and for client secret, we are going to copy this OAuth client secret. Okay. Okay. So we have done all of those. Now let's click on save. Okay. Our credentials successfully verified and saved. 
now we can verify our SDK credentials so let's click over here and let's click on this okay all right we're going to join the event all right so everything is working perfectly now you can go into settings and go through some of these options for example the vanity URL meeting deletion disable countdown timer so a timer will be displayed when your meeting will start you can disable the auto password and then you can also select the date time format so all the information are available over here so once you're done click on the save button and now we are going to create a meeting so from here we can see that we have a lot more options now we can create a new meeting by clicking on this add new button and let's give our meeting a name so let's call our meeting WordPress online class one. Now let's give this our short description. Okay, so we inserted some dummy texts over here and then you can also insert some custom fields over here. Now, if we scroll down here, you can choose your author and you can also choose the meeting host from here. And you can also select the meeting type such as the meeting or webinar. You can also select when the meeting will start. So if we click over here, we can select our calendar and we can also set when the meeting will start okay and you can also select the time zone as well and this is the meeting duration of course in the free version of zoom you won't be allowed more than 40 minutes per class okay so if you want more duration you have to upgrade to a paid plan for zoom next you can add a password to your zoom meeting of course this is a weak password since we are doing this for a demonstration this is a weak password you can use a strong password if you want you can also uh, go through other options such as disable waiting room waiting room is enabled by default if you want users to skip the waiting room and join the meeting directly enable this option so i want the waiting room and meeting authentication you can um, enable the meeting authentication join before host allow users to join meeting before host starts meeting so you can enable this as well start when host joins in participants video start video when participants join meeting you can mute participants upon entry if you want you can keep this option and if you want you can also record and store it to your local or cloud and you can also add alternative hosts okay so after you're done scroll back up and click on the publish button okay so your post has been published so now let's add this meeting to one of our lessons so let's go to learn dash and click on courses we have this course WordPress for e-commerce. Let's click on the builder over here. So let's say we want to add our online class within one of these topics. So let's say this is the topic where we want to insert the live online class. So we can click on this edit button. Okay, so from here, what we can do over here, we can select this block over here and click on this plus icon. And here we are going to type in Zoom. So it's going to show us some Zoom blocks, which is the Zoom, join via browser, Zoom show recordings, list Zoom meetings, embed Zoom post, direct meeting or webinar, list Zoom meetings by host. So there are options through which you can display your meeting. We are going to use the join via browser option. So let's click on it. So here we can already set our passcode. If we set the passcode, our students don't need to enter the passcode anymore. Okay, so we can enter the password over here. Um, do you want to disable the counter? No. Login required? Yes. And this is a meeting and we are going to select our host from here. So after you select your host, you can also select the meeting. So we are going to click on this drop down and choose our meeting that we just created. Then we are going to click on save. And now let's update this page. Now let's view the topic. And now you can see the timer is working. You can see the meeting starts in one day, 17 hours, 17 minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. And now you can join in the meeting by clicking on this button over here, join via browser. Okay. Provide name English. Now join event via browser. And this is going to open up Zoom within their browser and join the meeting like this. Okay. So we have seen how you can join uh, using the browser. Now let's see another method through which you can join in the meeting as a teacher. Okay. So we are back in the lesson and here we are going to add another block. Okay. So we're going to click on this plus icon 
and then we are going to choose this block direct meeting or webinar all right so once we click on this you can see um, it's already added here you can see there's a message that says get a meeting directly from zoom link only you can either provide just a link but we are going to just provide the full details so we are going to start a meeting now we can select a host now we can select a meeting um, so we are just selecting this meeting which we just created now we're going to click on save okay so this created uh, the block now let's update our lesson and now let's view the lesson okay so this block has now been added now you can also join using the web browser but we have already seen how you can do that using uh, this button over here now let's try the zoom app we've already installed the zoom client app on our computer so let's actually um, join in the meeting okay so now it's telling us that this site is trying to open the zoom meeting so we're going to click on open all right so our meeting has already started you can see we can now join with computer audio test speaker and microphone so basically what we can do is uh, join in this zoom meeting and test our speakers or microphone just to prepare for the um, online live class okay so that is how you can join in the meeting as a teacher now i'm going to end this um, session and click on leave meeting so we actually saw how the online life class works from the teacher's perspective. So let's say we are a student and we want to join the online life class. How that will look like? So let's find out. So we have logged out of our admin panel and now we are uh, logged in as a normal user. Okay, so let's click on this course. So since this course is free, we can access it. So let's go to program information, this lesson and this has the live class here so we are going to click on the join via browser button and now we have to put in our name and email so let's put in some details over here okay so now let's click on the join event via browser and that's it so whenever the teacher appears and starts the meeting by clicking on this button we can join in the meeting so that is how you can create live online classes on your learn their site using zoom we hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a like. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you next time.